As well as tools to organize your media into different bin folders, Edis has a couple of nice search tools as well. First of all, there's a quick search, which is kind of hidden functionality. If you press the F3 key, you get a quick find box at the bottom of the current panel. And so if I start typing in the word head here and enter, then Edis will hide any clips that don't have that word in the name. So this is just a quick way of locating things within an existing window. If you want to do a search right the way through your project, you can just click on the search button at the top of the asset bin. So for example, I know there are some clips with the word head in the name. I add that as a search criteria and I can close this. And now I've got a separate panel which contains any clips that match that criteria. In fact, while I'm at it, if I just select my root directory again and click on the search button again, I can maybe look for clips also that have the word shoulder in the name. So I'll add this as a criteria and close. And notice now I've got two separate search results panels and they'll just sit there persistently running inside of Edius. And this means that I can, for example, look up media that matches a particular performer or a particular location, and I'm not going to lose this additional organizational system. I'll just get rid of these by right-clicking and clearing. Yep. And right-clicking and clearing. In fact, before I do that, you can also search inside. So if I right-click and choose search in, maybe I'll put in the word walk and add that as a criteria and close. There you go. I've got search results within search results. So it's pretty advanced search tools within Edius, just kind of tucked away under this search button. Let's get rid of that. This means, of course, that you don't really need to be that organized, provided your clips have got meaningful names. But for what it's worth, I think it's a really good idea to make as many folders as possible at the beginning of the edit. Really just fill out the contents with things like a voiceover folder, a backup sequences folder. You could have spot audio effects, titles, graphics, and so on. And by creating the folders before you need them, you're much more likely to use them later instead of leaving everything as an untitled file floating around inside your project.